Yeah, some people have asked where the fuel filter is on the uh, Suzuki Samurai. This is a Suzuki Samurai or SJ413 or SJ410 or Jimny, whatever. You have the engine model or Sierra. You have an Australian model, but it's uh, right back here. This is the rear wheel on the uh, right-hand side. And uh, it's, it's a good filter, actually, because, you know, it sits in there like this. So the fuel comes in and it collects a lot of sediment and it comes out near the top. So in other words, this filter being sitting in this way will actually collect a lot of dirt and filter out a lot because it'll, it'll you know, gravity will collect all the garbage on the bottom. It'll keep a lot of garbage out of the fuel. So that's where it is. I'm going to put some new hoses on this. And um, I got an extra one here that I may, but I probably will not. Uh, I could possibly put up on the uh, fuel line up here. You know, it's inline fram filter. You can actually stick that in here, but I probably will not because I think it's totally unnecessary because uh, I blew out the lines and I'm coating the gas tank with uh, red coat and uh, changing out this filter and putting some new lines in there. Okay, so here's the new filter. Uh, this isn't a bad filter, it's a Hastings. Uh, here's the part number GF 187 and it had a purulator in it, but look at the difference See how deep it is actually I'd probably go with a purulator in the future. I didn't realize uh, There was actually a difference. I, I really didn't mind Hastings parts, but uh, That's a deeper filter. So it catches more junk on the bottom But I also want to point out today's gasolines. I know there's a few additives out there. I forgot there's one somebody mentioned in a comment, but there's another one out there. They're expensive. It's not stable or Marvel Mr. Oil. There's another one somebody mentioned, and I'm aware of another one. But today's gasoline, from sitting in here, these hoses got totally trashed. Now, I, these are the original hoses that were on at this from 1985. And they were always fine up until, I, I guess, some years ago. Definitely under 10 years. But for most of the life, they were fine. And it's this hose on this side, where the gas was coming in from the gas tank, that totally deteriorated. That's because of today's gasolines. This is why you're going to have problems with anything you let sit for even just a little while. So it's got new Gates hoses on it, made in the USA, fuel line. And I put these kind of clamps on it versus the screw-on kind of clamps. Um, but they're brand new, and they're extra thick. I'm going to tell you something stupid about these clamps. <laughs> maybe it's not. Maybe it's interesting or not. But you know, on the old Mopars, actually, when Chrysler was noted for engineering back in the 1960s, they used to use these kind of clamps because they pr apply a, a constant tension to the hose. In other words, it's not too tight, it's not too loose, and if the hose gets softer, it tensions up some more. So the kind of of uh, the other kind of clamps that you have that you screw on, which I have some right here actually, but I'm not using them. If the hose gets softer, they don't tension up more. You actually have to tighten them down with the screwdriver. This, since it's like a spring, it tensions down. You know, that's a little tiny tidbit, but you know, Mopar back in the 1960s, Chrysler's was very noted for engineering and they used to use these kind of clamps for a reason. So anyway, that's what's going on here. And uh, put a little Marvel Mystery Oil in the filter so when it starts up, it'll go through the engine. And, uh, you know, after it gets gas tank in it and stuff. So, anyway. Yeah, and just as an additional measure, I'm going to wait for this to dry before. And actually, this is sitting upside down. I need to flip it the other way. It's a little bracket that holds the uh, fuel filter in place. It goes right in here. And I used some chassis saver on it, cleaned it up chemically. It's a little rusty put the silver chassis saver on it with the q-tips like I showed with the uh, little containers this way this band won't rust away and it'll be won't be some stupid thing I'd have to make or find a little part for this so you know when I leave it up in there uh, rust is your number one enemy on cars believe me <laughs> so anyway it's just a little tension to detail so I'm gonna have to wait for that to dry but that's something else you might want to do